we are learning about how to position your pieces in Z-Depth. Now, for this character here, on my quarter front view, everything is looking good so far. I mean, of course, I've got extra lines uh, that are cutting into my different pieces, but at the time, at this time, that is really uh, quite normal. Um, but when I'm using multiple views inside one character, uh, sometimes I can end up having pieces that are positioned properly on my composite, but that when I get to a different view, I don't necessarily want to have those pieces in that particular order. So one way you can come and reorder these uh, without changing them on the composite, which obviously will change them in all of your different views, is that you can use Z-Depth. Now, um, as you probably know already, um, if I go and bring up my perspective view, you can see that Harmony is a uh, software that supports Z-Depth. So I can actually have a 3D perspective to my camera and to my uh, different assets that can be positioned in Z-Depth. Um, so what I'm going to do to bring, for instance, that arm in the back is I can come and select my entire arm. Now that I have my hierarchy set up, I'm going to select just the peg that supports the entire arm together, which is the piece that I want to send to the back of my character. And I'm inviting you to bring up the coordinates and control points view just so we can see uh, how exactly this is going to work. So I have my coordinates and control view. Here I have position values, scale, rotation, skew. Um, for this, we're going to use the position value. And I have my X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. So I want to put a value that's slightly in the back for the Z axis of my character, which will bring it behind my character. So I can go minus uh, I want to use a very small value because otherwise if I put say uh, minus 20 then you can see how my arm gets smaller because it gets uh, it's it gets brought really at the at the very back of my scene so as it would in any perspective it gets smaller as it goes back so you really want to get a smaller value here in smaller increments. So if I put it back to zero, my arm pops back to its original location. So what you want to do is really use uh, possibly decimals uh, to um, come and bring it to the back. So one of the ways that I like to do it is that you can use the shortcut while you're in the camera uh, doing Alt and with the up and down arrows you can actually put small increments in the values here. Otherwise you can just come in and type those values. You can type either uh, 0.001b for back or f for front or you can just use the minus sign and it will automatically adjust everything that you have in here. Now um, I recommend using the Z depth only at this point I guess in the rig uh, and not necessarily when uh, in substitution to connecting all of your different elements to your composite properly because when you have too much Z depth eventually uh, it could cause conflict between different pieces trying to uh, get one in front and then you have a smaller or bigger Z depth among other pieces so it can become quite a uh, the little jigsaw puzzle so you want to keep it uh, to only the pieces that need it and if you ever get lost and you're not too sure uh, which pieces exactly have z-depth in them um, I can invite you to go and check under the coordinates and control points view you have this little tab here called cumulative z and right now I don't have anything in this one but if I were to click say on the hand I can see here that this piece, even though this isn't where I put my Z-depth, is under uh, a peg that is affected by Z-depth and I can actually see which one it is here. 
So if I go back up my hierarchy, eventually I'll just come across the one that has a Z depth. If I go above it, you can see now there's no longer any Z depth in there. So just under everything that has Z depth on it, you will see a value in there. And if you ever need to remove it, you can just um, find that peg this way and then set it back to zero. So for this character, we'll need only the arm to be positioned in Z depth, but um, for any future rigs that you do, this will most certainly be helpful. So I will see you in the next step.